Eagles legend Dean Cox says the club's so-called drug and party culture ended after coach John Worsfold issued an ultimatum to every player. The revelation comes in Cox's soon-to-be-released book, Iron Eagle, and Michael Thompson spoke exclusively to him about the book. It's been a remarkable ride for Dean Cox, the kid from Dampier who became one of the AFL's greatest ruckmen. And in his book, Iron Eagle, he gives a fascinating insight into the whole story, the extraordinary highs and the lows, including Ben Cousins' sad spiral into drug addiction and the Eagles' so-called drug and party culture. You know, a lot of times it become a societal issue as well where, um, you know, you've got young men, 40 young men, different walks of life that... Um, you know, risk takers on a football field at times, they probably take them off the field as well. In 2007, coach John Worsfold called every player into his office and asked them if they had taken or were taking drugs. Cox writes, I don't know the exact number of players who answered in the affirmative when asked whether they had experimented with drugs, but I suspect it was in the double figures. But he adds it was a major turning point. The coach demanded every player agree to end the toxic culture or they were out. He just wanted to make sure all the players had bought in and wanted to do it individually. Yeah, you sat in there and you're in for 30 seconds. Yep, no problem at all. I'm in and walked out. The six-time All-Australian now describes the club's culture as outstanding, a model for other clubs. I think it's been an unbelievable ride for the footy club. I think what they've done from turned around to, you know, I think if any other club was going through any problems, they'd ring West Coast. He's rucked to three Brownlow medalists, changed the way Ruckman play the game. He's mad about fishing and diving, a devoted family man. Iron Eagle is a great story of persistence, skill and humour. Yeah, it's been a great ride. Michael Thompson, Nine News.